Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on whitecloak.oplegends.com. We have made a ton of progress shown in the last video, so we have a lot to go over in this one. So let's get straight into it. I am currently working on expanding the netherworld farm because we have gotten the best hoe in the game, which is probably going to be the main topic of today's video. This is the earth root hoe. You can only get this from dungeons and it gives me a 1.1x point multiplier effect and it gives me a 0.75 grind key effect. That basically means more points and more grind keys for me. And then I also have max enchants on it so if we take a look in slash gear we have the max fortune three out of three max key finder which will give us more keys we have replant which automatically replants sickle we'll talk about later and then telepath automatically collects them so with sickle basically it mines uh, uh, the blocks around him and the max is usually three but if you do look in some of the monthly crates you can actually get sickle four and i bought it for around 500 credits i'm pretty sure so now i can actually mine an eight by eight area instead of four by four which is honestly way way better and if we just take a look let me go ahead and buy an auto condense voucher i do recommend you guys use that because it auto condenses all the nether work so let's go ahead and claim the auto condense voucher boom and so let's show off this sickle four because it's honestly insane as you can see just from one click it mines this amount of nether wart which is kind of crazy so let's just farm for a bit as you can see i'm almost a half a stack of enchanted nether wart already this is honestly probably the best hoe on the server you can get and i am also using my money pet because when you do farm you can actually upgrade any pet or level it up so we're just trying to max it out i'm pretty sure it is maxed out so hopefully we can get a better one or level it up in a bit to a higher rarity it does give me a 0.75 boost, which is pretty good. I am going to sell some netherware later because I'm pretty sure we have some in a chest. And it's going to make us a lot of money that we could go ahead and put into our Endermite spawners. And speaking of our spawners, we are at 30,000 trophies. If we take a look at Island Top, it is at 162,000 right now. So we aren't really near that, but if we do keep grinding, we could definitely get that. They're at 20,000 Endermite spawners. We have IS Top. We only have 4K, so we are a distance away, but we can definitely get that many spawners if we do keep grinding. I currently have a lot of crate keys, so let's go ahead and open up them. Uh, so let's do slash crates. We have 3,000 grind crate keys, 95 loot crate keys, some relic crate keys. So let's just open up all of the grind keys. These are going to give us some mob coins and XP, and mob coins are pretty, pretty good. We can use them for these auto condense vouchers. Those don't cost a lot, but some monthly crate you get after 5.5 million mob coins that's probably the best thing and the spawner slots are also good with mob coins those are probably the two best things you could get with your mob coins the crate keys do take a while to open because i'm pretty sure they open kind of like individually so our mob coins are gonna go up our xp and our money is gonna go up a little bit and i'll come back once i've done the, all that the keys are still opening because it was honestly a loss so let's go ahead and open up the loot crate keys too and then we're gonna open up the relic ones uh boom open up those real quick hopefully we can get some good stuff from them uh, i don't really know anything good we'll definitely take some pet boxes because we do need to upgrade our rarities let's see what we got gateway six hour auto condensed voucher we're going to we're going to definitely take that some more relic keys okay we're gonna open up the pet boxes not anything too crazy got some relic keys we got some spawners i'm probably just gonna trash the spawners honestly not really worth placing down okay so we're done opening up all of the crate keys we got about 500k mob coins i'm pretty sure we're at almost 1 million xp we can definitely use that um i mean we don't really need to enchant anything right now but as we do keep getting better armor we probably should get better armor we're still on scarecrow the pharaoh armor actually gives us a money booster so we could probably go for this this earth crew hoe is probably one of the best hoes on the server probably only the top people have it so yeah i'm honestly very, very lucky i did spend some credits to actually get it but i did get all those credits from the in-game events that you could get and if you win you do get 500 credits so it's not like i spent any money and if everybody could get this hoe and enchants too i do want to go ahead and fill up a double chest of nether war or enchanted nether war then i'm going to go ahead and sell it i'll probably be able to buy two stacks of ender my spawners that's definitely going to help us i also do want to go ahead and sell the chest we did expand the storage system a little bit because we do have a lot of spawners and the chest system does fill up pretty fast but as you can see we're definitely going to need to expand this nether war farm because if i'm breaking it really fast the whole farm is basically broken almost and i've only been farming for a little bit so so we're definitely gonna have to expand it for if we want to make it more efficient and get more money out of it and more points and stuff like that definitely gonna have to expand this farm op legends is releasing their prison game mode it's probably one of their biggest game modes on the server they're releasing this saturday i probably have to do a showcase video and show you guys what it's going to be about it's honestly going to be really really fun i'm definitely going to record on it because their prison game mode is a ton of fun i do recommend you guys come and check it out this saturday okay i've been farming this netherworld farm for a bit there's not really any more for me to farm because i've kind of broken it all and it does take a little bit to regenerate back so i think i'm going to go ahead and put the ollie enchanted netherworld into a chest and sell it with my cell one and i'm going to show you guys how much it actually makes and i'm gonna go buy some spawn we've honestly been getting a ton of mob coins lately so we have everything maxed out that we really need if we go take a look in the island upgrades we have the mob spawn speed spawner stack size all the stuff we really really need to have maxed out with mob coins we do have maxed out so 
yeah we really don't have a use there so i think we're gonna i think the best thing to do is actually save them for some monthly crates and some spawner vouchers i have yet to open a monthly on a server so i think that's what i'm going to save for so how we're, how we're gonna get to 5 million mob coins is we're just gonna have to keep grinding and getting the grind crates and then from there we're gonna get the mob coins from the crate keys and that's basically it that's how we're gonna have to get the mob coins because Pretty sure crate keys are the best way of getting mob coins maybe dungeons but i think dungeons is better for points i did actually craft some gold gear i think it's in one of my pvs we take a look uh maybe we do yeah we have some gold gear right here and we also got some necrotic essence from the dungeon that we did do and with that if we take a look in the slash armor we can go to the dungeon tools we can get some necrotic gear eventually once we do get some more essence from the dungeons and this is just some better gear for dungeons which is going to give us some more health defense and some better damage okay i'm getting kind of tired of grinding this nether wart because honestly there's like nothing here so i think it is going to be time to sell the enchanted nether wart we do have and i also do want to go ahead and sell the drops from the farm so let's go ahead farm for a little bit more then we're going to go ahead and sell everything so so this should be enough let's go ahead and put all of the enchanted nether wart into a chest probably won't be exactly full but close enough let's go ahead activate and money booster let's see we have so many let's put a 2x on boom we have a 1.2 multiplier with our cell one let's go ahead and sell that boom we got a 5 billion from that which is kind of crazy let's see if these are full um they're kind of full let's go sell all of them should maybe get around a few hundred million from it so let's go boom sell all of these it should fill up pretty fast i'm pretty sure i expanded the storage a little bit yesterday so oh the cell one did break let's go ahead and get another one um let's just use this one this one doesn't have a multiplier but it's definitely works we should keep one for with a multiplier for our nether war for now and boom, sell all of those there is some down here um we'll just leave those for now but we did get a few hundred million from that I'm definitely gonna take that but now let's go ahead and buy some ender my spawner so let's go to the slash shop spawners enter my spawners let's buy uh the max amount we can it looks like it's gonna be around looks like it's around 12 stacks of enter my spawners we brought we bought around 12 stacks of enter my spawners with all the money that we did get so now we are placing down all of the enter my spawners uh we're probably gonna start in this stack now so let's go break prices down we can put four of these stacks in one of these spawner stacks and let's see we have enough for looks like one more and i'm probably gonna hold on to the four ender my spawners because it kind of messes it up if we do place down just four and boom those ender my spawners are going to generate us a lot of money down here once we are afk in it and we did go up some trophies we're definitely going to take those my goal is to maybe get on island top it might be kind of hard because these are all people who have island members and stuff like that so i don't know we're definitely gonna try though because it would be pretty cool to see us on island top as a solo one thing i am kind of behind on is quest if we take a look at this last quest we only have done the third quest which is kind of bad but it says speak to farmer roy at slash spawn that's only the level five quest um we probably should be doing these quests let's see the rewards we could be getting some pretty good rewards i mean they're all right they're not the best but having these quests done would be pretty good you can get a spawn slow watcher from that one actually which would be pretty decent but actually i don't think the requests are worth it honestly those rewards are kind of mid so we're probably not going to do any quests now because those rewards aren't the best we probably just get those things regularly from grinding and stuff the only thing i saw that is decently good is the spawner slot voucher but we can definitely get that just by grinding and getting it from the mob coin shop i think i do want to go ahead and craft the feral armor so we're gonna have to go ahead and grind for the resources needed it looks like we need enchanted copper ingots enchanted golden ingots and oasis swimmers whatever that is it might be fish i really don't know let's go to spawn i'm pretty sure gold is in the mine let's see if copper is also there i am not so sure if the copper is there if it's not it might be in the desert area let me go take a look real quick yeah i don't think there's copper down here but there is the gold so we're gonna mine for that we do have the best pickaxe on the server the honey pickaxe well it's not the best pretty sure there is one with a with a better mining speed so it is a little bit faster and stuff but this is one of the best so let's go ahead and mine the gold if needed let's do slash armor see how much i'm pretty sure it is a good amount so six enchanted um in total it's only 12 enchanted okay we're gonna grind for that real quick i'll come back because i've gotten everything i need honestly getting the gold shouldn't be too hard this pickaxe mines pretty fast and we do have a high mining fortune so we are getting a lot of them we're at one two three four five six we're at like six stacks so we're about halfway there we are gonna have to smell all of this so while they're smelting we can go get the copper but we're gonna have to find that first i don't really know what it where it is okay so we have all the gold we need let's go to the island and go ahead and smelt it all uh we do have a lot of furnaces right here i do recommend getting the uh, blast furnaces they're just way more 
faster and there is some leftover gold in here actually so definitely gonna take those pieces of gold okay so all the gold is done smelting we now have 12 enchanted golden ingots and now all we need is the copper i'm pretty sure the copper and the oasis swimmers so let's go and figure out how to get the copper and i'll come back once i figured it out and then I'll also figure out how to get those fish or whatever it is so it looks like copper is over here behind spawn in the desert zone so let's go ahead and start farming for the copper let's see it looks like it is it so let's see how much we actually need to get so boom so we need four plus eight that is 12 so we need 24 enchanted copper ingots that is going to take quite a while it's, that is more than the gold so we're going to go ahead and get all of those real quick come back once i've done it and yeah okay i got a full inventory of copper i'm currently smelting all the ones that i can and i'm pretty sure this is what one two three four probably about 20 stacks it's going to give us 20 of them so i'm pretty sure we do have enough after we do smelt all of these so i'll come back after it's done smelting it is going to take quite a bit but we are using a blast furnace so it should be a little bit faster but yeah i'll come back once it has smelted and right after that let's take a look in slash armor or the only thing we're going to need is the oasis swimmers and i'll find out how to get those okay so i've smelted all the copper and condensed that we now have enough for it we have 25 copper so that means we have the gold we need and the uh copper we need all we need now is if we take a look in slash armor all we need is the oasis swimmers and i think those are fish so i'm gonna go and fish those real quick if they're not fish then i'll let you guys know but the oasis swimmers are fish they're over here uh our current fishing rod is i think we just have the regular wood one so we take a look i think i might honestly just get a honey one because i think fishing might be a little bit slow so we're gonna need 32 enchanted dark oak wood and eight enchanted honeycombs which shouldn't be too hard the grind it might take a little bit but yeah i'm gonna get those real quick dark oak and honeycomb should be decently easy to do uh yeah i'm just gonna get that real quick i'm gonna go ahead and get those so we can fish pretty easily and get all those because it is a lot of fish that we do need and the good thing with the honey blocks is you don't have to like smelt them to condense them so that's why these isn't too difficult like the iron and uh copper and gold they just you have to smelt them and it's just all a bunch of condensing and stuff uh, we're almost at four stacks here we do have four stacks so that is about four enchanted honeycomb so we're almost at the eight and then the wood is really really easy to get we do have a iron axe right now but it does still do the job i'll show you how fast it actually mines the trees okay so we have the eight stacks that we need let's go to slash condense boom eight enchanted honeycomb and now we need the wood so let's go out of here if you take a look we mine wood insanely fast this is the dark oak that we do need and it, it mines fast because of the tree feller enchant that basically allows you to break multiple blocks at the same time and efficiency four also helps speed up the process too so i'm gonna mine we need about 32 enchanted uh what is it dark oak wood and then once we get that we'll be able to craft a honey fishing rod and that's going to help us a lot with getting the fish we do need for the pharaoh armor and that armor is going to be really good for us because that is going to give us a uh, boost to the money that we do get per cell with the enchanted ne nether wart and with our spawners and guys i think we could have been getting wood a lot faster we take a look in slash gear we don't even have tree filler maxed out let's go ahead and max that out because we have a lot of xp i didn't even realize the max level is five let's see if there's any other enchants no we can only have two on this but yeah let's see it now let's see what it does now oh it's so much better now this is gonna help us yeah so much more wood i should have been using this the whole time but yeah we're almost there we're probably about halfway okay we have all the materials needed for the honey hole so let's go ahead and craft that i meant honey rod but boom now we got that now we can go ahead and fish or let's see what enchants we could put on it so um Oh, okay it looks like there is no chance let's go to spawn and let's go ahead and go to that lake we're gonna start fishing there uh we need a ton of fish a ton of those oasis from our fish so it's gonna take us quite a bit to get those fish but with this rod it does increase the fishing fortune and speed so we should get it pretty fast maybe i don't really know but i'll see i'll come back once i've gotten in them okay so we have been fishing for a bit and it has taken longer than expected i don't even know if we have enough yet but let's just go to the pharaoh armor so we need 96 okay that is probably gonna be like all of this right here but let's go ahead and get the chest plate okay now we have 12 left so we still need a stack in 32 okay we're gonna continue fishing it honestly has taken longer than i've expected but it's definitely gonna be worth it for that money boost in the end because we're gonna take any money boost we can because more money means more spawners which just means more money so yeah definitely gonna continue to keep fishing this is actually gonna help us a lot okay so we're finally done fishing that took quite a while but now we have a 
all we need for the pharaoh set so let's go get the leggings and the boots and boom that should be the whole set let's get the chest plate and let's go ahead and equip it but i think when we are farming i don't know which one would be better if we do want points we should use this one because it has a higher factor but this one also has farming fortune but if we take a look at the um what is it shroomling set this one just has higher points and fortune all together so we'll probably go ahead and get that one eventually soon we'll just use this one all right where it's the pharaoh one for money when we do go ahead and sell but yeah that honestly took quite a bit to get kind of longer than i expected but it is it is worth it because now we are going to be getting more money when we sell stuff let's just sell the rest of this i don't think the fish sell for that much yeah don't sell for too much what about these ones slash sell in hand now the fish don't sell for anything so i don't recommend fishing at all for money but let's go back to the island i think that is probably it for today's video if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos i will be recording on the prisons once it releases this saturday so make sure to check that out but i'll see you in the next one peace